Mm -hmm. Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. So what with Christmas approaching, I thought I would do an unboxing video for um, what Santa's elves kindly prepare for um, stockings. The websites that I'm used today is toysforapound.com and poundtoy.com. Um, I've received these, took about a week turnaround. It's now the week before Christmas. So um, I've got everything I need basically with the help of Santa's elves. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna unbox. You can see what I've got. Um, let's go. Okay, so first up, we are gonna start with Pound Toy. So I ordered this first and it actually took the longest to come out of the two. Right, let's see what we've got. So I'm gonna start with all the things that were 1P on the website. So this is an ongoing thing, they seem to change. Um, but yeah, so uh, when I place the order, these are all the things that you could get for 1P. So that was um, a Harry Potter key ring. It's a kind of like, well, I'd say it's like a well, rubbery, rubbery material. Um, you've got a Carry Along Toy Story 4 colouring set. And that includes crayons. And then pictures to colour in. What's that? A Christmas colouring book. That's that one. And then this is a Christmas Eve box, which the girls have already got. So, um, yeah, but it was a penny, so I thought, hey, I'll get it. And it feels, well, it's quite small, as you can see. It's not the thickest of cardboard, um, so I don't know how long it would last, but for a P, for a P, for a penny, I thought I'd get it anyway. So before I make a purchase, I normally just do a general um, search on the internet just to see how much they are being sold at other places. Um, I've noticed that actually between the two uh, websites that I have purchased this all from, the price differs on the website, so I normally see which one's selling it for the cheapest, then go for that one. Um, but yeah, so things like these, I'll start with these. Um, these are cheaper than you can get them currently on Amazon or anywhere else that I could find online. Um, Crackle Bath Colours, that was one twenty-five. The Slime Baths were £4 each, um, but it's the double pack. So you're getting two in there. Normally on Amazon, I think it's about three pound to four pound and you only just get the one pack. So here you get two. So I bought extra of those because they're good presents as well. And the girls really love these. I have so much fun making the bath slimy or jelly-like. They had these in different uh, selection of colors. So I've gone for pink and I've gone blue as well. So they were all four pounds each per pack. I've got an extendable fishing net, which I've actually bought for my dad for his pond because um, it obviously doesn't take up much space. Um, but obviously we've got pink, so not ideal. You don't get a choice of what colour you get, so I'm sure he'll be happy with that regardless, but yeah. Right, plasters, they were two pounds. That's obviously not for any other purpose other than for me to just put in the cupboard. Right, we've then got these um, My Mini Mixy Cues things. The girls have got a little, I think it's like a little playhouse with these and they only got two dolls with it and they've not had any other dolls. So I saw, saw these on the website and I thought, well, I'll get these because then they can add them to their collection and there's more of them to play with. So I got five of these and these were all two pounds each. There they are. The boxes are way smaller than I thought they were going to be, but I guess the characters are small, so they don't need to be that big, but yeah. And I believe you get two in there, so that is those. Right, next we've got these uh, Kitty Charm Surprise Blind Bags. And again, I didn't really see these for sale anywhere else online, but I thought they love cats. I think they've got a kind of Vela feel to them, and they love a blind bag. So um, I've got them all, one each of those. 
I think you must get some card with it, maybe a collector's something. Um, oh, you do. There we go, you get a book as well, book card and a kitty. So they were coming in at one pound each. So I think they're pretty good for those. Um, right, we've then got this uh, maths multiplication white clean book. This was two pounds. It's just good for the girls to practice with. Like that. And then on the back it's got our multiplication grid, which is just handy to have. There we go, so we've got that one, that's two pounds. Right, then we've got these um, butterfly scratch art and uniform. Uniform? Uh, unicorn <laughs> scratch art. I used to have these with kids and they were so much fun. Um, simple, simple, simple setup, you just obviously got the scratching tool there. Holographic scratch kit, pack or four with scratch tool and stencil. Oh, okay, so you just you use a stencil to your own designs. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've got them one of those each for the older girls, they're 175 each. And then we've got this foil art set and a mermaid one as well. Three in one, peel of sicker, place in the foil and rub. Yeah, so we'll see how they turn out, but they were two pounds each. They're quite light, those boxes. Right, and then we've got our Philly Baby Magical Pony mini feature. Mini figure. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm going mad. Right, so yeah, these are really cute. I've got these. Well, Elf's got these last year actually, um, but they've kind of got a little velour feel to them. They come with a cute little jacket. And again, you don't know what ones you're going to get. They've given two different ones. Can't really see that one because she's tucked in there. Yeah, um, so they were two, uh, one pound each. One pound each for those. We've then got this uh, Treats Bubble Flexible Soap, which is just squidgy. Make your own funny shapes. That we'd give that a go for a quid. I've got this Ancient Romans book now, Activities and Stickers, Aurora's Into Her History. So that's good for her. You've got a little pop out bit there, bits for dressing up characters, sticky bits, press out pals. And that was two pounds. Right, we've got these orbs, I thought these would be good for the summer. Water balloon self seal. So, no needing to tie them up because they self seal. Um, you get a filler nozzle as well. So, it just attaches to the tap. And that was coming in at £3. And then we've got these little Simpsons. The girls really were into this. Um, we've still got all their Simpsons, less now, but I thought it's handy to have um, just to keep in the bag. So if we're in a restaurant or anything and they just want something to play, um, stackable cards, but also it's about they can do Happy Families and Crazy Eights, which are games that they like to do. And that was two pounds. Um, right, we then got these Swishy Mushies. They love anything squishy. And this is one of their branded things on the website. These are the different ones that you can get. Obviously, it is a small one. What we've got in here, um, but they're 150 each, and the toy itself is like well, it's piddly. It's that big. Not very big at all. Um, but yeah, so they got two of those for the older girls. I've got this boom bag, which I believe you push something inside and then it um, inflates and you just launch it. So I thought that would be good for a boy, maybe my uh, nephew. But that was 59p. Then got a dot to dot book and that was coming in at £1.50. It is quite basic dot to dots. I was hoping it would be a bit more harder because I know my niece loves doing dot to dots. Um, but it's a real easy one but it could help with Maybe Jemima or Arabella. You'd like something like this, but some simple dot to dots. And that was £1.50. 
and then with with an order they normally give you something free so they've given you a little um, lolly last year it's a little mini bag of Haribo um, but that's just to go with the order and then obviously as I've said um, to all of this basically uh, there wasn't any postage I had the code extra 50 that took 20 pounds 38 off the prices here so um, quite a lot of this was discounted so obviously the prices that I've given you with that code did get discounted um, so all of this was £43.50 next up we have toys for a pound I'm slightly preferential to this one of the two just because it's a quicker turnaround with the postage um, although you always have to pay for postage um, I think you generally get better uh, better value for your money um, but yes I will show you now obviously what there is in there here's a quick summary of all the bits that I've got from toys for a pound what I do love about these websites I've noticed over this year and last year is that they always strive to give you a selection so if you get multiples of something they go out of their way to give you different so like I've got no doubles there, here, I've got four of these. On the website you don't get to choose, you just say this is what you want um, and they just say styles may vary. Um, but they give you four different ones or um, like here I've got two of these and they've given two different styles rather than giving two of the same. Same with this one, two different styles when I've just ordered the same thing. So go out of their way to give you a selection so you're not doubling up. So we start with these little figurines. These are Rainbow Ruby. The girls don't watch it, but I thought they love any little doll, so I'm sure they'll enjoy it. Um, so we've got her as a chef and as a hairdresser as well. So we're two pounds each. I've then got these little um, spirit untamed minis and the little blind bag ones. Got three of those and they were one pounds each. We've even got this Power Pucks, which is a uh, starter pack. So, not too sure how it works or anything, but that was a quid, and I thought, well, it's good for a boy. So, we've got one of those. We've then got these scented erasers. You get eight of them. Can't really smell anything but they are in individual boxes as well so these would be good for a kids party actually as well you can put them in the party bags and obviously when you take them out of the boxes i'm sure you'll be able to smell them more but you get eight of those for a quid so it's that one um we've then got these branded ones these are by tommy tommy to me um that these ritzy rollers and i've not seen these before but i just thought they're quite cute um, they're again they're a collectible range you get uh, six, six how many wheels do you get there yeah you get six little wheels and well with the two on there already and I think the idea is you put them in the back of the wheels to customize them as you want them to be so I've gone with six of those because they were only um, they were one pound each so I thought well <laughs> be rude not to Went with six because I use them for presents as well. But you can see that some are shimmery, um, some have got the kind of like little fur to them, and they're all different characters as well. Got little names and that. So I thought they were super cute, and at one pound each, I thought well, we can't really go wrong with those. Right, we've got these Zero Five Surprise Unicorn Squad. So I've got two of those, one for each of the older girls. They were four pounds each. We've had these before where um, they're great little presents as well because as you open them up you've got different sections in there, five different sections and in each little section is something new. So yeah, so they're cute. This is obviously, I've not seen the unicorn ones before but the I looked online and this is the cheapest place to get them. Cheaper than Amazon, so they were £4 each. Grumblies, mini jacks and these are pencil toppers I believe but they're one pound each mm. I got these um, WWE stampers collectible figure sets it's a two pack set they are one pounds each there we go little stampers there 18 to collect 
my nephew's into WWE, so this will be part of his Christmas present. And their stampers as well, so I guess they actually have ink and they stamp. Um, but yeah, if not, you can just have them on display in the fun to look at or play with. So I've got those and they're £1 each. I then got this Disney Spinzels Donald Duck one. Um, and let's have a look, I've got an idea as what they do there. And these were £1 each. So the brand new ones, it's Disney. There we go. Another branded one here is the Sulks um, Splash Ball. It's obviously got a Superman theme to it, but it's good for the swimming pool or the bath as a little toy to play with. Um, so that was one pounds. These mini kitchen play sets were one pounds each. One pounds each. Um, and again, they've given us selections. This was obviously kiwi and grapes, and then here we've got apple and pineapple yeah so they're great for any sort of like toddlers although it does say three plus years um, bit of doing a bit of role play so yeah got two of those these are flipper zoo world fliptastic fun set not seen these before but i looked and uh, they've been sold on ebay um for almost well almost three, four times the price. These were only one pound each, so I actually got four of these. Um, but the set includes a micro set, two mini worlds and two flipper zoo minis. So it's like that. So I'm guessing the idea is it's all self-contained. An idea of the different characters and stuff. I thought for a quid each, and the fact that it's a complete playset, can't go wrong. Good little uh, present as well. Um, and that one is age three plus as well. Um, but yeah, so they were a quid each. This is where my dad would normally make a joke about, oh, it's disgusting, it's got poo all over it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, this has got Disney on it uh, and it's just a 50 centimeter inflatable character of Winnie the Pooh um, and I think Arabella will have a great bit of fun with this decent size and of course the beauty of it is you can just deflate it and it doesn't take up any space so yeah that was a quid one pound we've got these breakout beast spitters um, they're series one these were one pounds each and again good for um, a boyish kind of person. They're slimy and monstery, buggy, beastie creation. Mm. And again, it's a branded one, Mega. Six to collect. It comes in like a blind bag sort of design. And they were, how much were they? They're one pound each. One pound each. There we go. Right, these. Um, the girls when they were younger obsessed with these they um, got the whole set but then well, I've noticed that there are now more that have been released so these are Fisher Price so again they're branded and these are Series 23 which is just mad to think there's so many series you get a little engine in here like so big um, and these were £1 each so I've got three of those Right, I've got two of these. These are Velvet Art Pack, and you get five felt pen, uh, five pens with them, uh, and it's got that kind of velvety um, feel to them. But you get two different designs in there. So you get two um, velvet art sheets, five pens, and they were one pounds each. Yeah, so two of them for the older girls. This one, I just know that the girls will love it because it's got slime as much as I don't really like it in the house because it always ends up embedded in a carpet somewhere or stuck to a wall. Um, but yes, yeah, so here we have elephant poo. You get a little elephant figure with it and it's a, um, a double putty tubs. So you get two of those and an elephant, which is quite, quite nicely painted. And obviously glittery poo, well, it's 
not much you can really say about that. Age is three plus, um, and they were one pounds each. I actually saw these initially in Wilkinson's, but I can't remember how much they were because um, they weren't labelled and the girl sh uh, showed an interest in them. So when I saw these online, I thought, yep, get the elves to knock up some of them. Um, yeah, so these were two pounds each. So I got four and they very kindly sent um, four different designs. Ooh, these are suitable for ages three and up. But the way these work is you scribble on them, you get to wash them and then you can start again. So the pens you get, you get different colour pens depending on the, so the boyish ones you tend to get different colours, the girly ones you seem to get the, yeah, I guess more girly colours. But yeah, so scribble them, wash them, do the process all again, two pounds each, can't go wrong. These cards I thought I'd get in preparation for next Christmas. They're only a pound each. You get 32 cards in each one. Four designs, you get an extra one for a teacher and a teacher assistant with envelopes. 100% recycled packaging. So you've got your designs there. So just so we're prepared for Christmas next year. And obviously I've got two at school now. So I've got two lots of those. Um, yeah, so for a pound each. Uh, two pound in total i know that that's the girls covered for school cards next year my little pony pencil cases were one pounds each they're the well they're branded ones ages three plus um yeah so quite nice quality they come i feel something squidgy in there so i'm guessing that's like a foam insert packaging yeah I thought they're always handy to have pencil cases, not always just for pens, but the girls also, if they've got any small collectible toys, they, I tend to encourage them to put them in pencil cases so that they're all little like grab bags and they're all contained and yeah, multi-purpose those. So they were coming in at one pounds each. Right, these littlest pet shops come in a half of a plant pot, which isn't yeah, it's a squidgy plastic, so I won't be using that again. Um, but yeah, these were, you get a two pack, and then, how much are they? One pound each? Yeah, one pound each. You get two in there of the Littlest Pet Shop creatures, but that's a Hasbro, so another branded product there. And last but least are these Yellies. I've not seen these before. Um, you did get a cho choice on the website as to what character you had. They gave you a little drop down option and you could choose what one you wanted. I tried to go for the cute ones, I think having the two eyes, the four eyes kind of scared me, so I thought well, that scared the kids. Um, but yeah, so I've got these ones, they are branded. So these are made by Hasbro, and I think, I don't know if this is a bad move getting these, but the way that they work is um, the louder you yell, the faster they go. So potentially could regret that decision here um, I've got the elves to get these but um, yeah I'm sure they'll have a blast on Christmas Day with these they've got six surprise movements so we'll see what that's all about but these um, uh, little blinks are the ones I got and Webbington as well they've got a cool, sort of fairy fairy finish to them um, but yeah they were coming in at uh, three pounds each these were yeah so three pounds each and again there were more if you wanted to buy them from ebay or amazon or anywhere else online i saw them so i thought well i'll get them they're good to have in the gifts cupboard um yeah so that concludes everything from toys for pound hey guys my unboxing of items from both poundtoy.com and toysforapound.com um, I'd really recommend using these websites this is the second year that I've used them for this particular purpose um, and I think they just serve it really well you get a really good discount on the toys um, and quite often if you go to places like Poundland now things aren't even a pound anymore they put the prices up so you're getting some quality items here but a really good price so um, yeah I hope this has been of use to you give it a try they normally do have some form of discounts as well and um, when you order a 
from Pound Toy. They actually give you 10% off code for a friend. So I will show you that now. If you put the discount code in friends10, then you get 10% off. But otherwise, I managed to find codes for both of these orders. Once you're subscribed to the email list, they will send you emails with discounts as well. So I had a discount code for Pound Toy, um, and that was 50% off all the stuff in the clearance already. They also have um, items which are 1p um, and they're normally value of a pound or upwards but you get them for a penny. Um, so things to look out for on the website you get notified through the emails and um, with any up and coming or usable discount codes um, and then uh, toys for a pound I actually emailed on Facebook Messenger and just said have you got any promotions you do have to pay for postage on that website um, you don't get free postage if you hit a minimum spend target um, so I just asked them is there anything that can be used and they actually very kindly sent me a code to get me 10% off the total order so um, that was really worth messaging them they're really good customer service and quick to get back to me before I place the order but yeah that's everything have a lovely Christmas bye no no